has the Tim situation been discussed at any of your board meetings? You know what? I'm going home. I think you should, too. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. I sit here waiting for this government meeting to end, I, I find myself uh, practicing for what I will say at the next government meeting while they're saying the Pledge of Allegiance. So I have my own Pledge of Allegiance and I just find myself, keep, I keep sitting here saying to myself over and over again, one torture state, under fraud, completely visible with lying and spying on all. I keep getting spying and lying backwards. Uh, I just love saying that during the Pledge of Allegiance. But so far, no one's ever even given me a dirty look. I kind of wish they would. I would be thrilled, by the way, if one of you would come up with a new alternate version of the pledge. Uh, I'm pretty good at building rhymes, uh, but it's a lot of work, and it wouldn't hurt my feelings if you did some of it for me. Actually, that, that rhyme is not completely my doing. It's, it's a refined version. Uh, I refined of something I saw on Facebook. A couple more positive things I noticed about the Keene High School. It seemed, it seemed to be immaculately clean when I got here around 3 p.m. I mean, I would like to think that I am, I mean, I should be looking for every positive thing that I can say, and I should be saying it if I, the opportunity presents. Anything that's halfway interesting, I should be reporting to the public, whether it, uh, you know, uh, fits my agenda or not long as it doesn't require too much effort to report. Anyway, 3 p.m., you'd think that's when cleanliness is at its weakest, but it wasn't very weak, best I could tell. Question. Can you guarantee parents that students' uh, right to protest will be respected as the TIN situation unfolds? Have you folks discussed the TIN situation at any of your meetings, and when did that happen? If you earn a taxpayer's salary, supposedly, shouldn't you be answering taxpayer questions? Is it a disgrace for you to stand there and say nothing to me? Do you have contempt for taxpayers? Can you guarantee me, can you guarantee no, parents, that uh, you will respect students' rights to protest in relation to the Tim situation? Is it appropriate for you to refuse to answer taxpayer questions when you receive a taxpayer's salary? Mr. Black, question. Can you guarantee parents that you will be respecting students' right to protest in relation to the Tim situation? On whether you will be respecting the right to protest? You can't even talk about that. Should taxpayers maybe not be paying you anything since you're apparently telling them nothing? I think they can make their own conclusions. Yeah, I'm making some right now. Right. Uh, how much do you get paid? It's part of public record. Research. Well, why don't you just uh, tell me then? You're welcome. It's public How long have you been here? Two years. Okay. Appreciate one answer. Take care. Question. Has the Tim situation been discussed at any of your board meetings? You know what? I'm going home. You should, too. Good night. Now, is it appropriate for you to not answer taxpayer questions when you're receiving a taxpayer salary? We were discussing personnel issues in a non-public session. And did one of those issues include Ms. Tim? LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. 
That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.